Hey everybody, it's me Henry. Today we're gonna talk about the five habits to boost your financial IQ. Let's get started. Handling money the right way is no piece of cake. Money doesn't come by all that easily, at least not if you inherited it. And to ensure that one spends it wisely while also making smart decisions to achieve all one's goals, one needs to be extremely prudent. Smart management of money is what contributes to one's financial intelligence quotient, more commonly spoken of as the financial IQ. In this video, we will explore some great habits every person can cultivate to improve their financial IQ. But first, let us understand what the concept means. Very simply, financial IQ refers to the ability to make one's money grow by spending wisely, saving, and investing right. A concept that was made popular by the best-selling author Robert Kiyosaki in his extremely popular personal finance book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Financial IQ or financial intelligence is all about using information and one's wisdom to make the right choices in managing money. At the core of the concept of financial IQ lies the understanding that one needs to make lasting changes to one's understanding of how money works. We need to understand that money will not multiply by itself and that we are the ones who will make the decisions that will determine what happens to our money. Smart decisions about money management are what financial IQ is all about, and decision making will only become better as we empower ourselves with enough knowledge about making money and budgeting. And why is financial IQ important? It might not appear so at the outset, but a high financial IQ can bring great benefits to an individual. While everyone has some basic idea about their finances and how to manage it, not everyone is very successful in ensuring that they are great at not just making money, but also saving and multiplying it. This is where financial IQ becomes important. Everyone's financial situation is different, and there's no one size fits all when it comes to managing money the right way. Sure, you may have learned something from your family, friends, and peers, but your particular financial situation may not work with the model you learned about. This is why it is important to have a high financial IQ so that you can spend your money wisely, save enough, and plan for your retirement, or with the existing corpus you have to start with. Good financial IQ comes from managing your money better. And here are the few habits you can cultivate in order to boost your financial IQ and work your way towards financial success. First, focus on saving. It needs no telling that an excellent habit of people with high financial IQ is saving money. No matter how much your income is, make it a habit to put aside part of your earnings every month in the form of saving. Having savings is important at every stage of your life as not only does this encourage prudent spending but also helps you to create a fund for emergencies. With your savings, you can fund your goals in the short as well as the long term without burdening yourself with a loan or skipping your regular expenses. Number 2. Evaluate your spending if you feel your money is slipping through your hands like grains of the sand, it is time to take a look at where all money is going. Making a list of all your expenses is the first step towards a great habit and can be done on daily, weekly, or monthly basis. This will be beneficial towards helping you manage your finances better by helping you keep track of the expenses which are important and those which you can do without. You can also maintain a personal diary or journal to keep track of your daily expenses if you have trouble remembering where you spent money. Number 3. Plan your purchases Every one of us has something or the other on our wish list and some of these purchases are more expensive than we can afford. A new car? jewelry, electronics, or even that expensive perfume, there's no end to the luxuries you can want. 
while you might want to make the purchases immediately, a great sign of high financial IQ is planning purchases and making them after saving up enough money. Make it a habit to keep from impulse buying and if you like something that falls outside your budget, save up and then buy it without affecting your financial health. Number four, invest. Saving money is a great habit, but if you wish to multiply it, whether for the fulfillment of short-term goals or retirement planning, investing money is a great habit to cultivate. There are numerous options to invest money, such as the shared market, real estate, fixed deposit, currency, etc. However, when you invest your money, make sure you research adequately on all the pros and cons of the market you intend to dive into so you can make good and steady returns. Number five, read books on personal finance. A good book can teach you much more than personal experience after you have made mistakes. There are some great books from great authors such as Robert Kiyosaki's Rich Dad and Poor Dad, Beth Koblenner, Get a Financial Life, David Box, The Automatic Millionaire, Dave Ramsey's The Total Money Makeover, among others. These books would not just improve your financial IQ, but also clarify many commonly faced doubts by people concerning personal finance. Also, take time to read articles, blogs, and magazines on personal finance and budgeting which will provide you with the right tips and tricks for managing your finances the right way on a regular basis. That's all for the sharing today. If you find values and like this video, please consider to hit the subscribe button and turn on all the notifications so that you're not gonna miss out any video just like this from this channel. And most importantly, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. I would love to read your comments and reply to your comment. And I hope to see you in the next video.